What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. Oh yeah guys. So I said last episode that I was going to expand out this area here and lay out stuff for our crops. I did it. The area is expanded. I planted the crops, got the dirt here, got it tilled. I made myself this item. It's called a sink and what the sink is, is an infinite water source. You can right click your bucket on there and it'll fill it up all the time. So yeah, infinite water source from Pam's Harvest Craft. A very, very nice item. It costs three iron and, th or I'm sorry, six iron and three wood. Inexpensive too for that. Yeah, and you can pick it up and move it, take it with you wherever you need infinite water source. Not bad. So yeah, I had placed our earth crops over here. So we are producing the earth essence. Well, we will produce some eventually. They're growing right now. And then I also made some Manicio crops and I just planted these. These are the ones that we need to mix with other stuff to make, you know, like earth crops or whatever. Anyway, I just planted these. I was kind of curious what they do. And I guess they're just going to make that Manicio essence that we can get from the mob farm. So anyway, yeah, I thought I'd do that. I started laying out like seven by sevens of the dirt. Mm hmm. And this is what we got. We don't have enough dirt to complete this one, but it's all fine. I also took some of our glowstone. And I chopped it up with a saw, and then we got these glowstone nooks. Yeah, these provide the same amount of light as a piece of glowstone, but you get like 16 out of one piece of glowstone when you chop it down to this size. Anyway, I have these kind of spread around a little bit. If nothing else, we can use these as steps to jump up here. So it's all good. Uh, we have plenty of light. No monsters should spawn over here. We have plenty of room for more crops. And we're going to be rearranging this at some point in the future, but not right now. Um... So yeah, you guys had told me in the comments that those specter blocks that we received as a reward are unbreakable, so I shouldn't put them down. I'm glad I didn't try checking those things out. Uh, I don't know if there's some special thing you can do. Maybe there's like a special wrench or something from random things. But anyway, as far as I can tell, and as far as you guys have told me, they are unbreakable, so we will not be using them. Uh, another thing that was mentioned is that I should be taking the cobblestone that we're producing here and turning it into compressed cobblestone that will allow us to get to the deep dark and other various uses. Uh, what we ended up doing in the previous mod pack that I was playing, uh, Infinity Evolved Expert Mode, we ended up using storage drawers and we used a compacting drawer. And that is in this pack, this whole mod. It's a great early game storage system. I don't think we're going to be using, you know, the actual storage system, <laughs> but uh, we will be using this compacting drawer. Now, what this will do is if something can be put into it, that'll turn into like a nine by nine. It will, or I'm sorry, if it can be put into a, into a crafting grid in a three by three pattern, you know, nine items, it will compress them into both. So you'll have access to either the cobblestone or the compressed cobblestone. But yeah, you can store a whole lot of items. So this is going to be really good. So this is what I want to do. We're going to make some of these compacting drawers. So we'll take a couple of iron. We'll take a couple of redstone. A couple of redstone, not just one. Uh, we need some planks. Something like that. We're going to need a cobblestone. Yep, we need to make ourselves some pistons. I really can't wait till we get applied energistics going. <laughs> I can only stand, you know, crafting everything by hand for so long. What am I missing? I am missing... I did not grab iron. I grabbed electrical steel. Try that again. Yep. I cannot wait till we get automatic crafting going. I can only craft stuff vanilla by hand so many times. And then it's just like, all right, I'm done. All right. So we need slams. I don't know if that was the correct recipe or not. There's a couple of different things you can put in the center there. We're just going to do this. All right. Is that, is that the way? And then an H maybe. I think we need more slabs. This mod pack has mouse tweaks in it and it screws me up and I think I'm going to uninstall it. <laughs> I really can't stand mouse tweaks. It is really bothering me. The, the way I try and drag items, it always does things I don't want it to do. Yep. Anyway, so there is our compact or our, uh, yeah, compact drawers. So what is the recipe? What else is, do we need for this? Just stone, huh? And a piece of iron. Let's grab one iron. We'll grab some smooth stone. Oh, I thought we had some in there. I guess we don't. We'll grab some smooth stone. Cool. All right. So compacting drawer. Got it. All right. So we're also going to need our dollies. Is it in here? It is not. Where is our dolly? I have. I can never find anything anymore. We have too much stuff. 
There it is. <laughs> I, I really didn't see it there. It was right there, though. All right, so Dolly, we'll go and pick up our thing of cobble. We'll stick it there. We'll put the compacting drawer right here. No? Do I have to place it up against the block? I might. I might have to. Block, compacting drawer. There we go. So, yeah, now we can get cobblestone, compressed cobblestone, or double compressed cobblestone out of this compacting drawer. This thing is really, really good. Yeah, I like these things. And you can also upgrade these with the emerald upgrades and all these things. We'll be looking at that here pretty soon. I'm probably going to take all the cobblestone out of here and just dump it into this thing. <laughs> so, yeah, let me go ahead and empty this out. I'll fill this thing all up. We'll see how much of the double compressed cobblestone we have, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, so there we go. We have 82 double compressed cobblestone in there, and that's just going to fill up over time. So, yeah, that's really awesome. Thank you guys for your wonderful comments letting me know to do things like this. I forget. I mean, I do know that this is in the pack, but I forgot it was in there, and I forgot there was something we should do right away so we can start collecting all this cobblestone. Very good tips. Yeah, thank you guys for your support on the series for sure. Really, really appreciate it. All the, your nice comments and your likes and all this stuff, guys. Very awesome. Anyway, let's continue on with our progression here. So we needed to make, no, we were going to do, what were we doing? We we're doing immersive technology and we we're getting into the blast furnace. Yeah, we left off last episode trying to make the bricks. So uh, I got everything together here. So we have the blaze powder, we have the bricks, and we have the nether bricks. which should allow us to complete this quest. There it is, done. Today is right reward bag day. Woo! All right, so this reward is a greater reward bag and a walrus. We got a walrus, guys. We won the game. Walrus. It's a walrus. We got it right there. Isn't it amazing? It's pretty awesome. So we also got ourselves some elevators. These are going to be really good for getting up and down into different portions of our base. Yes. Definitely, especially when we start going multi-layer. But right now, we don't really have a use for them, so we're just going to stick them away. But we will be using those at some point in the future, for sure. I really like those. All right, so I think we're going to need... I've never set up the blast furnace from Immersive Engineering. I assume it's going to be very similar to uh, the Coke oven over here. We have to do a 3 by 3 by 4 and then click the center with the hammer. Let's try it. Yeah, the, uh, the one from Railcraft, I think, is a 3x3x4 three by three by with a two blocks in the very center hollow. Oh, you know what? Is this a 3x3x3? Three by three by three? Let's try this. I, I've never made this before, and I could look in the book. Oh, no. There we go. It's exactly the same as the Coke oven. Okay. Cool. So we got this. Uh, so we need to put in iron, and then we need to put in our coal Coke here. And that should start producing steel. Now, hopefully it's been tweaked so it doesn't take forever in a day for that to happen. We'll find out here pretty quick. Let's just grab, I don't know, half a stack. Yeah, half a stack iron. We have plenty of iron. Uh, and our coal coke. Let's put all this stuff into that blast furnace. And hopefully we will be able to get that steel here in no time at all. If this does take a while, we might start looking at the other methods of doing it. Does this show progress? Oh, oh my. So it's about a minute per piece, right? Yeah, that's going to be about a minute per piece. Okay, well, we needed three to do what we wanted to do, right? I can't even remember what that was now. It was to make the... What was it that we were going to make? Was it thermoelectric... Oh, yeah, the thermoelectric generator... This thing required, yes. Okay, we actually need six. I just noticed in the book as I clicked in here that we need two of those things. So yeah, we need to do everything that we've already done. We need a total of 10 of those, two of these copper wire coils. Oh, we only got half of this ready to go. Okay, so while we wait for our blast furnace to make six pieces of steel, sometime, sometime this year, once we get six pieces of steel what is this flag oh cool uh we should be able to make that recipe and continue on with our quest progression so yeah let me go ahead and make a cut here i'm gonna make the rest of the things we need 
I think we still have some of that powder left over. This stuff right here. Yeah, I just need to smelt this down. Five of those, smash with the hammer, make the other wire coil things. Yeah, let me do that, guys, and we will be right back. All right, guys, well, I just went ahead and I uninstalled Mouse Tweaks. I can't stand it anymore. I tried to get used to it. I can't do it. For example, this recipe right here, I wanted to put these three steel ingots in there. What you do is you take the three and you click right here and you drag it across and split it. With Mouse Tweaks installed, it would not do that. And I just don't like things that change default functionality of the game. I don't mind things that add functionality, but if, if you change the core mechanics of the game, I don't like that. So Mouse Tweaks gone. So anyway, we can go ahead and add, uh, yeah, all of this stuff in here. And there we go. There's our thermoelectric generators. Cool. All right. So we got, oh yeah, I just restarted the game because I, <laughs> because I just removed the mod. There we go. All right. So thermo, thermoelectric generators. So that's going to give us a chance cube plus surprise, surprise, a chance cube, right? Because we haven't gotten one of those before and we're going to do the right reward bag. So this is a good one. Good one we got, Epic Bacon. I don't know what that stuff does. It's epic though, and it's bacon, so it's gotta be good, right? We'll just put that away. Uh, cool, all right, yeah, actually we need to put the uh, the chance cube away. I'm really itching to try one of these chance cubes. I wanna get to a different dimension, and then kind of like get far away, and then put all my stuff in a chest somewhere, so it's gonna be safe, and then try these chance cubes. We, we don't wanna do it right now, not at this base, but I really, really, really wanna start messing with these things. Okay, uh, so back to the quest book. Yes, we now have unlocked water mills. So let's check this out. So this wants us to make one water wheel. Well, we're going to want three of those, actually. But anyway, uh, water wheel. Let's check this out. Whoop. Oh, this thing right here. No, that's a segment. Uh, well, hold on a second. Water wheel. Okay, so... Water wheel segment, water wheel is spelled one word, but the water wheel itself is spelled two words. Weird. Anyway, uh, so we need a treated plank and then we need these segments, which is three planks and four sticks. Cool. So how much of the treated wood do we have? A lot. All right. So let's do this. So we want some sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. So I think we're going to need that many. And I think it was like this. Did I count those wrong? I must have counted those wrong. <laughs> anyway, and then we'll fill in the rest of those like this. And we're just going to make all of those. Okay, so there's 11 segments. I think we needed one more. Let's do this. And that. And that. Okay, so there's 12 of those segments. Whoops. Uh, okay, and then the segments with the plank in the center. There we go. Okay, so we made three water wheels. We're probably going to want to do that once again. We have three of the dynamos, the kinetic dynamos. Yeah, and these water wheels should produce power all the time just with a little bit of water. Yeah, those are really good. Okay, so let's check the quest book. So it says that is done. It's too bad these quests don't really tell you what you're supposed to do with these. They just kind of like say, hey, make this. <laughs> anyway, uh, right reward bag. Let's claim it. And this is a greater reward bag. Plain reward. So have we gotten anything good out of the reward bag so far? I don't think we have, have we? Besides the uh, the redstone blocks, I think that was probably the coolest thing we've gotten so far. That's a shame. Okay, so we have the thermoelectric generators. Now, I think, are these the ones that you have to put, like, cold and hot on one side? I think so. So, like, lava on one side, water on the other side, and then it, like, produces power. And it depends on... Maybe we should look at the... Immersive engineering book, thermoelectric generator. Cause I'm kind of curious how these work. Uh, power wires, generators, thermoelectric, man, that text is so small. Why is this in like the smallest font possible? <laughs> or right, another option of power generation and work without the use of any mechanical parts. Instead they use temperature gradients between two sources. Placing a hot fluid on one side and a colder fluid on the opposite side generates energy based on the difference between the two temperatures. The following list contains other non-fluid blocks, which can be used as sources of temperature. So packed ice gives us 200 K. Is that Kelvin? I don't know what that means. Uranium, Eulorium, Plutonium. 
So you probably want like packed ice on one side and plutonium on the other side. I thought you could do like water and hot fluid on one side. Oh, the following list contains other non-fluid blocks. Got it. Cool. So we'd want like a plutonium block and then, I don't know, like water on the other side or something. I guess packed ice probably would be better. Uh, all right, cool. So once we start messing around with this stuff, we should be able to start generating some power. But I guess we can take advantage of the fact that we already have lava over here, right? So we could remove... That's disconnected again. I made sure that was connected earlier. That's so weird. Let's Let's do this. So we got that right there and that one right there. And we lost that thing. This thing just updated and now it's connected. So we could put water on the other side, I would imagine, right? And that should generate a little bit of power. That this doesn't have a reading as far as I can tell. So I don't know if that's generating power or not like that. Hmm. Hmm. How do we know if this is working or not? <laughs> I guess we can remove the solar. And we could wrench that. Let me grab the engineer's hammer. That's the only wrench that we have. So I'm curious to see if this is actually producing any power or not. Where's our engineering, our engineer's hammer? There it is. And right click. Okay. So are we producing any power here? 192? It says 192 in the, the thing. Yeah, we, we have to be producing power. Okay, so if I put another one on this side. Cool. So we're producing 378 just by water and lava. That's not bad. So 192 for one of these things. So I wonder how much the water wheel does, if that's been increased a lot or what. But yeah, that's not bad for not, you know, having any moving parts and just having still source blocks next to it. I like that. Okay, so this is 378 and we'll connect this side right here. Yeah, now 858. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So we're almost making a thousand RF per tick right now just by adding in those two blocks and these two sources of water. That is not bad. So that should... Oh, I... I was thinking that would be enough for this since this is using 311 RF per tick, but I guess my numbers are not right. Now this is 519. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that's how much power we were producing, but <laughs> anyway, well, we're producing power at nighttime. We're doing a little bit more than what we were doing before, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and put the solar back. Let's not burn the manual. We'll put that right there. When the sun comes up, we'll be making a lot more power. That's for sure. Okay, cool. So I'm curious, though, like what the water wheels are going to be producing in this pack. Maybe we should set one of these up. I could expand out over here and just kind of set it up so we're connecting to the same power. Hmm. Well, you don't really have another use for power right now, right? We kind of want to build out another area this way i would imagine start moving all of our machines over there so we're not taking up you know our front lawn or whatever full of these things well that's something we'll have to work on in the future um let's go back to the quest book real quick squeezer industrial squeezer light engineering block hmm maybe we'll go back to this one this wanted us to make the regular infusion stone for the magic crops let's check this out I can't remember what all was required for this, why we stopped doing it. So we needed the essence, right? So we needed the essence around our weak infusion stone to make the next tier. And I think we should have our crops ready. Oh, actually, we should grab that hoe because I do believe the hoe gives us a better chance for either more seeds or more essence. One of the two, I can't remember exactly what that said. One, one extra essence from Anisio crops. Okay, so it does give us extra essence. Cool. So let's go ahead and harvest that. Then we should be able to make the next tier. Oh, we only had one that's ready? Okay, I'm going to grab the watering can. I'm going to water these things real quick. I will break them. And then we'll continue on with our magic crops. All right, well, here we go. Here is some earth essence, and here's our weak infusion stone. Does that replace... Does this just make the thing and leave our weak infusion stone, or does that use it up? I don't know. Let's do it. Okay, so, yeah. So it only costs eight essence to make a new infusion stone. So that's pretty awesome. So the use is for this thing. We can use it to make the Crucio Essence. We can 
combine that, I guess, with the stuff that the Crucio crops make for a strong infusion stone. Yeah, it looks like there's only two separate uses for this. But yeah, I can tell right away that we're going to be using a lot of uh, the the Minecio Essence, this stuff. Yeah. So four of those turns into one of the whatever the stuff we're using, the Osseo. And then four of the Osseo turns into one of the Crucio. Yeah. So it's going to get progressively more and more expensive. We're going to need a lot of the Minecio Essence. Which means we should probably look at getting our mob farm automated fairly soon. The walrus is butt sticking out. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to want our mob farm upgraded pretty soon because these guys seem to be dropping a decent amount of this Minecio essence. This is just stuff that I've collected manually. Uh, I guess we can kill a few of these mobs while we're over here. Might as well. Don't blow up, creeper. <laughs> So a thing that I heard, uh, these loot bags, I had mentioned this in the, or I guess I mentioned this in one of the videos, that they don't stack, you can't put them into a barrel or whatever. Uh, somebody pointed out that we can put those into a filing cabinet, which makes a lot of sense. Another thing I heard is that they don't actually generate their inventory until they enter your inventory. So like once they go into your inventory, that's when they have generated what's inside of them. So before that point, like if we had our mob farm set up automated, we could put all these loot bags into a barrel. So that's something we should test out sometime in the future. Uh, right now, let's just check out some of these loot bags. Uh, bucket. Okay, we'll take that. Whoops. Give me rare loot. That's like all garbage. So I hear that with this update, if you take anything out of these loot bags, you cannot combine them. I don't know what happens if you look in them first. These are things I haven't tested at all. But yeah, let's just kind of see. Oh, we got two chance cubes in here. You know what? We're taking those, right? Dark steel's pretty good. And the nether quartz. Don't really care so much about that iron pickaxe. We'll just, it's just a common one. Don't care about that. And what is this other one here? This has, ooh, more of these chance thingies. Turret base, bread. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean out my inventory. We got so much stuff in here. And we have more of the Minecio essence over here. So that's good. Um, yeah, we'll just leave all that stuff alone. Yeah, getting that mob farm automated so we can start getting all that stuff and collecting it automatically. There's a loot bag on the ceiling, I just noticed. Yeah, collecting all that stuff automatically, that's definitely something we're going to be wanting to do. Um, so again, the uses for this makes the Crucio Essence. So with the Crucio stuff, what are we able to make? We can make a Crucio Furnace. Uh, redstone seeds. That's probably something we're going to want to do so we can start making redstone pretty soon. Oh, this stuff goes into a block. All right. Uh, glowstone, obsidian, pig, cow, sheep, chicken, uh, the axe. We can make crucio ingots. I guess all these different tools. Does it say what this scythe does? Let's hold shift. Two extra essence from Minecio crops. Oh, well, okay, that's pretty good. Let's keep going and see what else we can make with this. The sword. How much attack? Does that 10 attack? Hmm. So we can also make aluminum, copper, lead, certus quartz, sulfur. Oh, sulfur is going to be pretty good. Tin, uh, mana steel. Man, this deal. Wow. Okay. So we won't have to do very much Batania, right? Uh, bronze seeds. Well, we need the man of steel to make those. I think we have collected man of steel just from the reward bags so far, the loot bags or whatever. Nether seeds. I assume that's going to make, oh, you know what? I remember some of these magic crops, like you can put them in certain different patterns and they make different things. So this might be able to make all these different items like nether rack or soul sand or whatever. And then salt Peter. Cool. Is there anything else we can do? Okay, that can be converted back into the Osseo. So that's a way that we can store mass quantities in a smaller amount is by upgrading them to the higher tier. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm kind of rambling. Let's go ahead and yeah, we'll claim the reward for this. It's going to give us Osseo seed bag, a chance cube, and right reward bag. So the right reward bag is a good one. Let's open it. It is a titanium sword that says plain reward, but that looks pretty awesome. 10.5 attack. Our current sword is 10, so it's not that much better. So what does this thing do? What mod is this from? Quantum Flux. 
All right, well, I don't know what's special about this. There might be something we can do with it. I have no clue, but it looks pretty awesome. All right, well, let's put that away for now. I'll have to research this, or you guys can tell me <laughs> in the comments what's special about that thing so I know. So this plant seeds in a two by two. Oh, okay, so you can shift right click on it, then we get an inventory. I assume you fill this with the seeds that you want, and then you can plant the two by two using that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, back to our quest book. Yeah, this wants us to do the Crucio. Crucio furnace, strong, ho. Oh. Yeah, I still don't know how these furnaces work. I never took a look at that flower from before that we got. Did I stick it up here? I don't know what I did with it. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I was kind of curious how that thing works. Here it is, found it. Does this just work like a regular furnace or does it go faster? Or does it require the Osseo essence in there? Let's grab some coal. Let's grab cobblestone, stone. Let's grab some cobblestone from over here. We're gonna experiment real quick. Did they get a stack? Did they only get one? Okay, I guess you have to shift click. All right, so if we put the cobblestone in there with this, I guess that's just a faster furnace. I don't know how many items that smelts with one piece of coal. Maybe it smelts a whole bunch with one piece and that's what makes it good. Cool. Well, anyway, that is pretty awesome. So I assume the next tier up is going to go even faster. I like it. I like it. Um, so I don't think we can do this just yet. We're going to have to make some of the next tier seeds. Uh, we'll look at doing that sometime pretty soon. Yeah, Sterling Generator and Heat. I saw this one. We had already made a heat generator like somebody had suggested, but we have to make a total of three of those. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead. I'll make two more of these off camera. We will make the Sterling Generator. Uh, a little bit more power coming from over here wouldn't be too bad, although I don't know how we're going to hook that thing up, to be honest. We really need to get all this stuff moved, and we really need to get another platform set up for all of our power generating and machine needs. So maybe another platform like this out here about that same size we'll have to figure this out all right guys so here we are in a flat test world this is what the world looks like when you select a new world and you say flat in project ozone so yeah i wanted to make myself just a flat testing world this is what we got but i was curious on these different power setups that we have like which one's better how much power are they making which one should we start going towards i don't want to make or I don't want to put a whole lot of resource into one thing and find out that it's a really terrible power source. So yeah, I, I did some testing here. So the, what we got set up is we got a water wheel. We have our thermoelectric generator, and then we also have our heat generator. So the heat generator is what somebody had recommended. This is like one of the first things that we built. This thing right here is only producing 46 RF per tick. That's with lava on four sides. I know you can put lava on the fifth. I haven't tried this yet. That's actually, let's do it. We'll put lava on top i know it's gonna make a difference i don't know how big of a difference but let's check it out so we'll put lava right there so it's surrounded on five sides we right click on this thing it brings it up to 62 rf per tick okay so it's a little bit better but it's still not like whoa that's a lot of power all right so this other one we have the uh thermoelectric generator i wasn't sure how much power this thing was making because the rf cable the uh the flux duct we were looking at was reading a different number Whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, uh, the flux duct we were looking at was reading a different number, but if we look here, this is making 63, right? That's about the same thing as this thing's making with all that lava around it, 62. This one's making 63 and it's much smaller space. So this one, in my opinion, is probably better. But anyway, I want to check out the water wheel because in Infinity Evolved Expert Mode, we've had one of these things set up and this is like the way you have it. So it has the maximum amount of power that's generating. Yeah, the water source up here flowing around it. Then we have a water source right there flowing away and a water source right here flowing towards. So yeah, the maximum amount of sides are being touched. So anyway, I wanted to see how much power this thing was making and it's 355 RF per tick. That puts these two things to shame. In fact, that is almost the same as the photovoltaic cell that we're using the solar panel. Uh, this has a maximum output of 400 RF per tick and that only works during the during the daytime it does not work at night this works 24 7 and we already have the material set up for one 
or we have the materials made for one. We have two kinetic dynamos. I just have to make three more of those water wheels. And yeah, we'd be making a heck of a lot of power that's going to be running day and night. I think that's probably going to be our best source of power early game. So that's probably what we're going to be working towards, I think, here in the near future. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Pro <laughs> yeah, Project Ozone. Hope you guys liked the episode. Hope you guys liked the little bit of testing that we've done here. It's not very extensive, but we can definitely tell that the water wheels are the way to go. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.